Hi, this is Trey Miller with Global PM, a PMI Global Registered Education Provider and member of the Oracle Partner Network specialized in Primavera P6 EPPM. We provide training, consulting, and software sales. So if you need any support, please feel free to give us a ring or find us on the web at globalpm.com. So, today's lesson has to do with being very careful using a start-to-start -start relationship. As you can see on screen, we have two activities. 1000, which is texture walls, and then 1010, which is paint walls. They're in a start-to-start -start relationship with a lag. So we're saying that you start texturing walls, then a couple days later we're going to go ahead and get started with painting walls. So perhaps the situation is we're moving from one room to the next. Texture room one, and then after texturing of room one is finished, we can start painting room uh, texturing room two and painting room one. So the thing to look out for though is the situation where you have a delay, let's say, in the predecessor activity. So if you look at the situation here, we have now paint walls scheduled to finish prior to texturing, which makes no sense. It just can't happen. So the thing we want to do to give us an extra layer of protection is to also link these two activities in a finish-to-finish -finish relationship. Something like this. Texture walls, dragging to the finish of paint walls, and then I'm going to add a three-day lag in here. So we're saying that even if texture walls is delayed, uh, you still can't finish painting prior to that. It, will, it would have to be at a minimum of three days after we texture. So to illustrate this, what I'm going to do is drag the duration out on texture walls and then reschedule. And you'll notice that paint walls pushes out to the right. Thanks for watching.